So in Del Rio, the name Julio is pretty legendary and I think it's safe to say that it's a well-known name throughout the state of Texas as well. Yes, we are talking about those perfectly seasoned chips in that iconic yellow bag, Julio's Corn Chips. And we are here at the manufacturing factory and a restaurant to see how these popular bites are actually made. It already smells so amazing just smelling the aromas of the salsa and the chips. Oh my goodness, I'm ready to devour. So what is the story behind Julio's Chips and how you all got started? Well, it's uh, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. My dad and my mom created the chips at a restaurant, really. My dad uh, would put the uh, seasoning on anything that he cooked. And uh, since it was a Mexican restaurant, once you order a Mexican plate, a meal, they would give you uh, chips and salsas. Yep, it's a and, staple. Yep, that's how it was. <laughs> and that's how it was created. So my dad started making the chips and salsa and people would go to the house, knock on the door, Julio, do you got a box, a $6 box? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, sure, and that's how, that way he started selling them. You know how Texas has the state flower? They mm -hmm. have the state flag, right. and so if I could designate a state chip, <laughs> a state seasoning, right. Julio's would be my vote for Good. sure. <laughs> thank you. It is addicting, once you start, you cannot stop. Yeah. I'm gonna actually have some while we're talking about it. Sure. So, what is the secret ingredient, if you can share with us, because they are they're, out of this world. The world. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, the seasoning that we use has uh, quite a bit of spices. You know, you got your cominos and you got your garlics. The oil on the chip and the corn type that we use is just that combination. And when you dip it into the salsa, yes. it's a pair. It's two peas in a pot. Right. right? They are yeah. meant for each other. Exactly. So our process is we put corn, water, and lime, and we grind it. So let's go over to the grinder here, right. and we'll take a look at the masa. This is the same thing that you would use to make a tamale or any corn tortilla. Yeah, very familiar. Okay, so we take the masa, it gets pumped and extruded, gets cut into a sheeter, and fed into the oven. Right. It's a tortilla first, so we're basically just making little triangle tortillas. After baking, we go through a process called equilibration, and we're looking for equal moisture and equal temperature. Equal moisture, equal temperature. That Got way it. you don't end up with a puff taco. Yeah. <laughs> but although those can be tasty. Those are delicious too. Exactly. But we want chips. So then we go into our, our fryer here. Now this, this particular fryer is very gentle with the chip. It uses indirect heat, and it's very efficient. State of the art at Julio's. Good stuff. It just smells so good. So this is where the magic happens. Right, so this is where it goes into the seasoning tumbler and we apply Miguel's special Julio seasoning. Awesome. It doesn't get any better than this. This is so good. Oh my goodness. Yo, this is the real deal right here. It's literally like the size of me. <laughs> the party Holy bag. Smokes. People love that. Oh my goodness. Seven yeah. pounds of heaven right here. <laughs> I know it also goes beyond chips and salsa. Also, you also have other products that you sell out here too. So what are those that we could get our hands on? We do have different kinds of flavors of salsas that we created. Of course, the originals when we first started was the mild and the hot. Mm -hmm. And then the habanero for the people that really love the spicy uh -huh. flavors and chipotle because people sometimes like that smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. And the serrano is one of my favorites. Um, and then you have the chicharrones. And chicharron in our seasoning that you can use on any uh, steaks. And then we have the cheese sauce. So like we mentioned, there is a restaurant that you can come in and sit and get yourself a nice homemade cooked meal here at Julio's. And right in front of me is a fan favorite, actually. It's called Tapatio. It's actually a corn tortilla with brisket wrapped in it. And it has all this great crema sour cream salsa on top of it with this also cabbage with lemon and citrus and tomatoes and everything that you want right here. So I'm gonna give it a try because this is actually my first time having a tapatio. Mmm. I can see why it's very popular. Mm. 
Miguel is very particular about his product, and that's why Julio's has grown the way it has. The reward of the hard work that we did, and, and we're still doing, yeah. because we want the Julio's brand to be home. Yep, it's a and, staple. Yeah. All right, so from the humble beginnings of sharing this with just the locals here in Del Rio to now distributing nationwide, you have to make all of these Julio's chips and products a staple in your pantry. You know I am, and uh, I can't stop, so digging in. Bye, y'all.